Hey y'all doing? It's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now, the blacksmith shop in Granville has a lot of tongs, a lot of old tongs that we don't use. This is pretty normal for a blacksmith shop. You end up with a lot of weird tongs that you don't use. But what's not good is there's nowhere to put them. They're hanging on nails and in random spots. So we've got to build a kind of unique tong rack for Granville. So let's get on it. This is our starting material. We got some one inch rebar and some half inch rebar. What the plan is, is we're going to take the one inch rebar, we're gonna flatten one end, and then we're gonna drift a hole out in it, pretty big hole, say three quarters of an inch or so. And then we'll split the back of it, open it up, drill holes, and that'll be how we mount it. The bar that the tongs are gonna to hang from is gonna be made out of the half inch rebar, and it's not gonna be riveted or welded or anything like that. We're just going to taper the ends and make a tight scroll. So these pieces will be, won't be able to come off of here. And then when we put it up, we'll stretch it out and that'll make it stay in there. Trust me, it makes sense in my head. So far I've done this two different ways. I'm hoping a hybrid of the two works a little better. I'm going to be hammering on this and then I'm going to grab it by this end and quench up to here because this is the only two parts I won't be able to move. So just think about that kind of stuff when you're putting stuff into the forge. Good start. 
do one more just kind of final adjustment. Make sure everything's flat. Everything's flat now. Center punching this before we drill it. Now, sometimes you have to be creative. That's why I'm drilling these from the bottom. I know sometimes when I'm drilling holes, machinists have nightmares, but you'll be okay, boys. You'll be all right. Wire brushing it real quick. All right, so there we go. I know they don't look identical. It'll be okay. Um, and I know they're different heights. These two will be the ones on the outside. This one will be in the center. And it'll add, you'll see, it makes sense. It makes sense. Now that we've drawn this out into a taper, I'm gonna make a tight scroll. one of the things so these will slide but I can keep them where my hand is for the pivot point. It was just kind of awkward there. Right? Place for all of Gramble's tongs. 
They're just hodgepodge laying around. Use of that guy. I've also got a bunch of tongs that I don't use in my shop that I'm more than happy to let hang out here for ambiance, but I want to keep up with what's mine, so I'm painting half the handle green. I reckon that paint's dry enough. Well, there it is, the finished product. This will serve its purpose. These tongs are not tongs that we use here during classes or demonstrations or anything, but they're part of Granville's history, and some of them are pretty neat. I'll show you some of them in some later videos, but they're not something that I use a lot. But this way they can be on display in the shop, people can see them, and get an idea of the dizzying array of tongs that blacksmiths end up with. All right, y'all, well, that's it. This was one of those projects that I, I didn't really write anything down. I just kind of planned it in my head. Thank God it worked, because I took a lot of filming into this. But uh, what did you think of the way I attached that with the tension and the, the scrolls? Uh, what do you do? You have a tongue rack, or do you just lay them around, or have a toolbox? How do you store your tongues? But anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this, even if maybe it was just learning how not to do something. All right, y'all behave yourselves.